Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are working on an Easter wreath because that's all we ever do. My Dollar Tree frame is wired with 18 pipe cleaners. There's three in each section. One is in the middle of the inner two rings and the other two are in the outer two rings. There's a video on it that I'm sure you've seen by now. There's three in each section. You can kind of see right there how they go. And now I'm pointing at the mesh that's all over because this wreath started out one way and then it, it just it, it just didn't work. Um, I was trying for a specific sign. I had a sign in mind. I had a sign in mind and I was trying to match the mesh to it, but the wreath I ended up making did not work at all. Um, so it ended up, you know, I just put a different sign on it. What I'm doing is I have pink, white, and yellow, and they're all in a line above my, you know, my tripod area here. And I am going from inside to outside, to outside, to inside, to outside, to inside. And I'm doing pink, white, yellow, pink, white, yellow. So the first one has pink and white, the next one has yellow and pink, the next one will have white and yellow. That's just how I'm spreading the colors out to get them distributed evenly. So I just did pink, white, yellow, followed that pattern all the way through until the wreath was done. Yeah, I think I show the sign later. It's this really cute sign and um, I got it from Michael's on clearance and I, I can't figure it out. Like I can't figure out what kind of mesh I'm supposed to be putting with it. Like I know I could just do a couple of pastel ribbons and be fine, but I don't know what my mesh needs to be. But it's definitely not this. Like, I don't I don't know what I don't know why I thought this would work, but yeah. And all my pieces are cut at 19 inches. And the yellow and the pink are 10 inches. The white is actually 12 inches. I don't know where that came from. My friend Jenny's mom bought a wreath from me, and when she came to pick it up. She had like half a roll of it. She's like, do you want this? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I didn't realize until I was putting this wreath together that it's like two inches wider, which is kind of cool because it gave it like a little a more dimension, I guess. But I did kind of like using the three meshes in the way that they distributed through the wreath by going pink, yellow, white, pink, yellow, white. A pink, white, yellow, whatever it was. Um, I think it's pink, white, yellow. I guess we'll see what other color I pick up yet next. Yeah, it's pink, white, yellow. So, to make sure everybody understands, you can watch the long version if you want, but it was pink, white, yellow in the outer. No, it was pink, white in the outer, yellow, pink in the inner, then back to the outer, yellow oh god i can't watch y'all i went in pink white yellow sequence i can't explain it because i can't even keep track of it it's too early in the morning for this my arm hurts i convinced myself i was having a heart attack and then i put some biofreeze on my arm and it stopped hurting so um not a heart attack but I would be sitting here filming a voiceover if I had a heart attack, probably. I'd just be like, I don't know what's wrong. I just I don't, feel, don't feel great. Yeah, I have been going, like, just buck wild with these Easter wreaths lately. I have so much Easter stuff that I got last year, and I was like, I can just order some mesh. I can order a couple of different ribbons, and I can just churn these out and... Now it seems like I am paying for it because my arm literally feels like I got 17 flu shots at once. But while I was making this, I kept thinking, I was like, this is so light. Like, I guess the past couple of wreaths I did were kind of saturated in color, the last couple Easter wreaths, and then the Mardi Gras wreaths I've been making in this same time period. I know you guys have seen those a couple weeks ago. 
they were all really saturated in the Valentine's Day wreath. Like, this is so pastel, and it's not me. Um, like, if I saw this in a store, I wouldn't even, like, give it a second glance. Because it's so pastel, and that's, I mean, it's just not me. But, I found that while I was making this and realizing the further along it got that it was not going to work with the sign I had, it kind of stretched me creatively to figure out okay, you used three meshes, you spent this time, this half an hour, whatever, wiring the frame, cutting the mesh, getting the mesh onto the frame, however long that usually takes me. I don't know, sometimes it's a half an hour, sometimes it's, it's, it's three days. Um, I was like, okay, well, we have this base done. It's in Easter colors, and we need to figure out what we're going to do with it. So I, I found a sign, and then I just kind of worked from there. It was fun. It reminded me of like doing one of those, um, you know, like a mystery box challenge where you just get a bunch of stuff and you like chop. Is that what the show is? Chop? Where you get a bunch of stuff and you have to figure out how to make something out of it. Except I, I picked out the ingredients for this one and then I was like, oh wait, no, I don't want chicken. I need salmon. And I made it work and it's cute and, you know. That's all that matters. If you would like to purchase this wreath, it is available in my Etsy shop. The link to the wreath is down below, and my link to my Etsy shop is there, as well as if you would like to join us on Patreon. Um, that's all there, or follow me on Instagram. And here's a sign, and it was not working. This sign's super cute. I did not want to just put it on something where it was like, okay, it kind of works, because it's Easter colors, and it's an Easter sign. Um, but yeah, and then, of, of no surprise here, I ordered mesh to go with the sign, and um, it is too bright. So, I'm still kind of, like, back, back where I was. But yeah, if this wreath is not listed down below, or if you go to the, the listing and it's not there, it just means somebody bought it. Um, I listed a bunch of wreaths, and... They sold before the videos even went live, so, um, sorry. But yeah, if you'd like to join us on Patreon, we are doing some chatting there, behind-the-scenes stuff, extra little tidbit videos of me fixing wreaths after they're done because I don't like them, stuff like that. It's only $5 a month, and we can hang out. you'll be supporting me and my videos and my life and my dog and my mom yeah and then I was like wow look how fluffy this is this is my new thing when I'm done with the wreath I like to like throw it up in the air and watch it bounce so here's where I'm like okay if I get if I take this sign and I get a pink mesh that is light pink and has like snow drift in it and put it with the natural mesh that would be really cute the mesh I ordered was pink it had snow drift in it but it is too bright. It's like pink pink instead of being light pink. I don't know what I was thinking here. I was like, no, I don't need any metallics. Like, that's what's throwing me off with this sign. And then I was like, this blue? I don't know why I ordered this blue. This is so ugly. What am I ever going to use that blue for? Peacock wreath. No, I wouldn't make a peacock wreath. But yeah, I want pink and natural, but the pink I ordered is not the pink I wanted. And then I was like, maybe this one. And then I was like, let me get back to the wreath I'm, I'm doing right now. So we went off on a little tangent there. Yeah, so the sign I have is, I love you more than jelly beans, joyful Easter wishes, or hello spring. And I go with joyful Easter wishes. And then I'm picking out the ribbons based on the, I guess they're eggs. Yeah, there are eggs in the sign. Like, there's a blue one, there's an orange one. Um, I also had this sign, but... I was like, no, this is, like, Easter. It's definitely Easter, it's not spring.
Okay, now I'm gonna get some pipe cleaners to wire this sign. It's really thin, so I couldn't use my staple gun, but I've been really fond of just drilling some holes. This is either a 1 16th or a 1 32nd inch. 1 32nd, is that right? 16, 32nd, I guess so. Um, it's a little bitty drill, but just enough for me to get the pipe cleaner through. Uh, my staple gun's really hard on my hands. I just got a new one, so I'm excited to use it on thicker signs, but these are not the ones, because they are pretty thin. This uh, you can completely disregard because these ribbons do not end up in the wreath. I wanted the color because I was like, that kind of works there. Um, but all I have is one and a half inch ribbon, so the one, two and a half inch little streamer that I had didn't work out. I ended up having to remove these after the bows are made, which not always fun. And I'm going to spend an inordinate amount of time figuring out what order I want these ribbons in. Because there's like pinks next to each other, and then there's stripes next to each other, and... Yeah, see, moving them around again. I knew I wanted that darker color. I mean, a little bit into the process there. I wanted the darker color in the back because that's going to go up against the really light-colored wreaths. And I was going to use this one because I bought 50 yards of it for some reason. You're going to see that in every... I mean, that's, that's going to be in like... My, my fall wreath this year. It's going to be like a pastel Easter ribbon. And you're going to be like, well, that's a weird choice. And I'll be like, no, it's art. And then I went and grabbed another ribbon. Don't know. Don't know what's going on. So I am doing, let's see, eight inch tails, six inch loops, making funky bows. And I can't tell the difference between the size of these ribbons. So you're probably not going to be able to tell either. I just shove them in there and while I'm doing this because I'm making three bows I am cutting three 24 inch lengths of each ribbon and yeah because I know you can see it coming something does fall behind the table I don't remember what it is so I'm putting this one in the other way oh no these must be yeah they're six inch if it's cut 24 inches they're six inch tails Six inch loop, six inch tail. And see that blue one, it's just, um, it doesn't work. But all my other two and a half inch spring ribbon was very, um, very bright. And if you are putting 17 bows on your wreath like I've been doing lately, um, this is a good way to have everything pre-cut. It saved, I think it saves a little bit of time. But then I did a wreath yesterday and I cut all my stuff beforehand and I was making the bows and I was like, not one of these is cut right because I apparently don't know what I'm doing. So, you know, if you know how to cut, if you know how to measure and cut, do that. put my pipe cleaner in. Can't see it, I don't think. But I pull really hard to make everything pop up. I'm gonna make two more eventually. You'll probably see it, hopefully. But I had such bad luck with the pipe cleaners and then I was just like, let me try this. If it works for everybody else, there's no reason why it shouldn't work for me. Um. And I think I was just twisting too much. Like, I want things to be secure, but if they're so secure that I'm breaking the pipe cleaner, like, that's probably not the way to go. And at this point, I forgot the blue ribbon, which I do end up removing, so, so you know, it's super funny. But I went back and stuck it back in there only to pull it out later. Again, with the pipe cleaner, pinching it down. And then I kind of pull it into my fist. You can't see it because I'm a terrible videographer. There you go. The green ribbon fell behind the table and I had to go rescue it. I've got to fix this table. I just, I, I'm like, I don't know what to do.
so yeah, I like the way these bows came out. They're just it's a nice mix of the orange, you know, because carrots, and I think one of the jelly beans or eggs or whatever's on the front of the sign was orange. Um, that blue was definitely in the sign. That's why I included it, but it doesn't last. Pull everything out, and this is a good example of why I wish I had another two and a half inch ribbon because that one looked weird and then when I put it on the wreath the bow just looks kind of um spidery I guess it just looks a little anemic I, I don't know what the what the term is it just it's not like see it fills up a decent amount of space but it just it looks kind of off I guess in a way This voiceover is going to be all over the place because we keep having to stop. And I wanted to do the wreath like this, but um, I go to attach everything and I come back in the next little section of this and it is the other way. So I tried something new and apparently when I went to go attach the sign, I was like, oh no, it's supposed to go over here. So now all the bows are attached, the signs are attached, they're just pushed through the mesh with the pipe cleaners and tied off on the back. I'm not going to make y'all sit through the struggle of that. And I'm just saying, you know, if I had the, if I had two, two and a half inch ribbons in each one of these bows, they would look a little bit more substantial. And now I have my ribbons cut. I got the pink with the orange and the green with the yellow. And I'm usually cutting about eight because the middle the middle of the wreath is pretty much taken care of. So there's 12 ties around the outside and the bows are covering up some of them. So I want like six for half the wreath and then I want one in between, one on either side of the middle bow on the other side. So like between 8 and 10, I'm rarely cutting, um, I did a wreath where I put bows and I put tails in every tie and I used an entire, entire spool of ribbon. Like I opened it and finished it on the wreath. And I was like, okay, that's, uh, that's costly. That's a costly mistake I should not have made. But that wreath is very cute. And I'm snipping my pipe cleaners as I go. Everything's dovetailed. I wish you guys could see what I'm looking at right now because my computer is so slow that I'm having to watch this on the lowest quality setting to do the voiceover. I cannot tell what that sign says. The resolution is like six. Uh, I just see the sign there, I can see the bows, I can make out the pot, but like, I couldn't tell you what pattern these ribbons are. I need to get some, um, upgrades done. I think my mom ended up really liking these wreaths. Like, it's rare for her to be like, oh, I really like that one. Because she's like, it's got too much stuff on it, it's too big, it's too bright, it's too light, or too wild, whatever. But the last couple of wreaths I've done, she's been like, I really like that. And I think it's because the colors are, you know, they're pastel, they're Easter. Something about Easter and springtime, you know, it's, it's like the fresh start to a new year, even though, you know, January. But it's like, you know, a season of regrowth. 
renewal. Planting tomatoes. Yeah, so I do wish I had uh, the two and a half inch ribbon, but once all the tails were added, I really kind of liked the way this came out. I mean, I don't think I would purposely do this again, like only use one and a half inch ribbon, but it's cute. But all these Easter eggs have been cute. I mean, it's just like, it's cute stuff. Like Easter's just cute. Everything putting these ribbons in here takes me the longest. I'm praying that I don't make you guys sit through trimming all those tails on the bows. I think maybe I trim one and then I'm like, okay, you'll wait and you'll see the rest of the pictures. Because doing these wreaths, I mean, if I I have to break it up into a couple of days now, like I can't sit down and finish a wreath start to finish. I did that yesterday, a St. Patrick's wreath, which you've already seen. I think. I don't know. My schedule all over the place. Um, I did that yesterday with the St. Patrick's wreath, and I think that's why my arm is just like dead weight today. Because it was an hour and a half of. Well, it was probably more than. It probably it was probably like two hours because, you know, I cut everything out beforehand and wired the frame beforehand. I think, hey, did I cut my ribbons? No, I didn't cut my, I cut my ribbons on the video. It's just, uh, I, I was in the shower this morning because I woke up and I was like, oh my god, my back, my arm, my other arm, my side, my stomach, my abdomen, my knees, my elbows, my shoulders, my toes. I was like, everything hurts. And I was in the shower. And I was just kind of like sitting there underneath the water, like scalding myself and listening to a podcast. And just like, oh, and then I was like, oh my god, I was like, my birthday is in less than a month. My birthday has passed by the time you've seen this. Um, and I was like, I am almost 40. I was like, is, is this what it feels like? Is this, is this what I have to look forward to? But I am determined to live a healthier lifestyle this year. I'm doing pretty good so far. It is, it is January 8th, um, but, <laughs> you know, I'm trying. I think I have to cut another, oh no, I had one, okay. And I think these ribbons were cut at 14. I keep going back and forth between 14 and 12. Um, but I did a St. Patrick's wreath last night with 12 inches, and it does not look as good. So I am willing to take those extra two inches and put them into the wreath. That candy corn egg, I was like, I'm going to put that in there. And then I was like, if I put this egg in here, this will literally be the exact same wreath I have made like four times in a row. So I decide I'm going to put these little, um, these picks from Walmart they're just like little egg things and these little peep things from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to spread those around. I think I have five of the picks and then a bunch of the, um... Oh, I cut out all the bow cutting. Look at me. Alright, and last time I used these, I cut them and they were really short. So this time I just pulled off the, because they have clips on the end of them, I pulled off the clip and it gave me an extra half an inch, which is really all I really needed. Really all I really needed. And these are just kind of going um, around the bows. Like I just kind of like to concentrate them around there. Watch as soon as I say that I'm gonna stick one on the side of the sign. Yep, look at me. I mean, I already edited the long version of this video, so I guess I, I probably knew that was coming, but I just want them spread out. My mom does hate these things, though. I 
was like, well, we bought like 50 of them, so... Uh, you know. But they actually, the colors actually tie in really well with the eggs on the sign. So. When she's a famous internet influencer celebrity like I am, a very successful celebrity influencer um, on YouTube, when she is that, then she can she can put what she wants in her race. Which would literally, I'm not even kidding you guys, it would be an, an evergreen wreath with a, a bow made out of a single ribbon tied like shoelaces. That's what it would be. It would be a wreath, maybe some lights, and a bow with one ribbon. Just two loops and two tails. Which is basically what I gave her for when I decorated her house for Christmas. Except those, those bows had three ribbons. And she's like, that is wild and crazy. That is something I, I would probably only see in Cancun. That's how wild and crazy it is. And I was like, okay. And I only used the blue little peep things. And you can't even really see these. I don't know why I bothered with it. But I just thought they were cute. So, yeah. I think we are almost done. I, I'm like, I'm trying to get this egg in here, y'all. But it, it's orange and yellow. It looks like candy corn. Like, I don't know. I mean, it would have went in here because there's orange and yellow ribbon, but... I was like, no, let me just let me just skip it. And here are the finished pictures. Um, this voiceover might be all over the place. I'm going to try to um, get it together. Can't promise anything. If you want to buy this, it's linked down below, as is my Etsy store. You can join us on Patreon. You can follow me on Instagram. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.